Hi, and welcome to Studio SN. My name is Sarah Newman, and today I'm going to show you how to make fast and easy dimensional paper feathers featuring the Feathers and Flourishes template from Hot Off the Press. Feathers make beautiful card focals, and they're easy to create with the help of a template, which is what I use to make the feathers and this swirl piece here on the front of my card. Now you can also tell that I've got some inking techniques going on here, and as I'm moving this, you'll see the shine of the embossing powder. So I've got inking and I've got embossing as well. So three techniques on one card, all really easy to do. So let's get started and take a look, first of all, at the inking and the embossing here on my background. So my background paper is actually a sheet that I've torn from a, um, an old math textbook. And this is going to provide some instant background to my inking. So I'm simply going to turn it on its side. And the inks that I'm working with are three different pigment ink pads. Pigment ink is going to be really important for this technique because we're also doing some embossing. And you'll want to have an ink that will stay wet long enough to accept the embossing powder. So the inks that I'm working with are from Clear Snap, and these are the Tangelo, Berry, and Aquamarine colors. These are all colors from the Ann Butler line for Clear Snap, and I have to say Ann has a heck of an eye for picking beautiful, beautiful colors that work well by themselves, but they also interact just beautifully. And of course, being pigment inks, they're perfect for our technique here. So the next thing I'm going to need to have is my brayer, and I have a little mini rubber brayer here. And then I also want to have my embossing powder on hand. And the embossing powder I'm using is Gold Pearl Super Fine. This is from Wow Embossing Powder. So I have this at hand and also my brayer. I'm going to set aside those other two inks and start with a Tangelo because it's the lightest color. And just get my brayer inked up and then start running the ink onto my background paper. Now I'm not trying to cover up everything, I'm just trying to get a first go round of color on here. So just go ahead and brayer that on, and then I'm going to move to the berry, and ink that up, and again add some more color on here. You can start to see how beautifully these colors work together. And then my third, I'm just going to add a few touches of the aquamarine and add some of this in here, just a little bit of accent on there too. Okay, and then working fairly quickly, I'm going to first of all struggle with my ink pad. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on my embossing powder. Now when I do this, I'm not trying to cover the entire thing. I just want to get a little bit of gold on here, gold highlights. So I've just sprinkled this on, and then I'm going to go ahead and tap off the excess embossing powder into this folded piece of scrap paper. And then I can use the scrap paper to funnel that back into my jar of embossing powder. So I'm going to set that aside. And you can see, maybe just as I'm moving it here, the ink is still wet in areas. And where it has the embossing powder on it, that embossing powder has stuck. So now I can go ahead and heat set this piece. A couple of things when you're heat setting, especially a really large area like this, it's going to take some time with that heat gun because you've got so much surface to cover. The other thing, you're going to want to make sure not only to get the embossing powder areas, but also that wet ink because that pigment ink stays wet for a long time and you want to make sure that it's all completely dry before you handle it. And then the last thing is when you heat set this, it will stay warm or hot for kind of a long time. So you do want to let it cool before you handle it. Otherwise, you can put your finger into some still hot embossing powder and that can hurt. And I can tell you that from experience. So just a couple of tips with that. Then when you're done, you're going to have a piece that looks like this. And you can see the shine on here. Depending on how much embossing powder you add, you will either get a heavier coverage or less. But even though I've got a lot of embossing powder on there, I think you can still see that beautiful color showing through and even some of the words of my text paper. Then what you can do is go ahead and get started with your template. Now, the template that I'm working with is from Hot Off the Press. It's their Feathers and Flourishes. 
and you've got a couple of different feather options on here so you can see the owl and the pheasant the one that i'm working with is this eagle feather piece right here so you can see also there where there's one two three lines that means you get three different sizes of that feather and indeed for all of the feathers you also have some other accent pieces down here this swirl right here no sorry this swirl right here is the one that i used on the front of my card so let me show you how you can do this now it will tell you on here that for the eagle feather you need to use a three by six inch piece of paper and you're going to be folding that in half so when you fold it you cut that down and you fold it in half like so you're going to fold it the long way and then what you'll do is place the template on top of the folded piece so my fold is here and it lines up with this black line that says fold line on there they make it very clear on the template and of course all of your instructions are up here as well then you're just going to take a pen or a pencil i'm going to trace the largest shape on here so you can see and just go ahead and trace that on here and then you remove the template that's the important step too and um, don't try and cut with an exacto knife using that template on there just remove the template you can see the line on here and go ahead and cut through both layers using a pair of scissors and when you do you will have a piece that looks like this so here's my cut piece and when i unfold it you can see you could actually use it like this that would be kind of a pretty feather shape too but keeping it folded what i did is keeping it folded simply cut into not the fold line um, cut into the edges to create that sort of ruffled effect so you just need to be careful that you don't cut into the fold so i'm working from the open area in toward the fold you can make your cut uh, cuts close together or farther together this depends on what you want and all the way down to the bottom then when i open this up you can see i have my beautiful ruffled feather shape on here so easy to do now on my card i also went through here and just made some irregular cuts to some of the um, some of the areas on here just so that you get a little bit of a varied effect on there as well so that's optional you can do that if you want to the last thing I did was I went along the edges of all of my both of my feathers and I added some um, gold embossing as well as the the pigment ink so I came through with the berry ink and then simply skimmed along the edges like so while that ink was still wet I sprinkled on gold embossing powder and then heat set that then after I did that, I folded this back on itself like this to get that spine, the centerpiece exposed like this, and then came through again with that berry ink and then just came along and added some extra dimension to that. So I'm gonna handle this pretty carefully because that's still wet. You will want to heat set this again so that you make sure that that is completely dry before you handle it because it's now it's a non-porous surface with that embossing on there. So that's how you can accent your, um, your feathers. Let me bring back in the original card and I'll show you on here so you can see where some of those feather pieces have been cut and you can see the dimension of that gold going around the outside edges on there as well. Now the last thing I want to show you, I mentioned that there were three different sizes of the feather. So I have the large right here, I have the small here, and this is the medium size. So I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to use on my card, so I made all three, but you can see the variation of the sizes on here. This swirl, as I mentioned, is also on the template itself, and that's just a piece of green cardstock that I covered with gold embossing powder. So I've added those onto the front of my card and I kept the rest of the card fairly simple because I wanted these to really stand out and be the, the focal of the card. I also added a little bit of sheer ribbon on here and then the word dream. And the word dream is from a stamp set. This is the Eclectica line. This is from Paper Artsy and this is ESN 04. 
and I use that little word dream on there, but you can see there are other words on here that you could use as well, whatever you wanted to have suitable for your card design. And then I put these down on foam tape, slightly overlapping. This is just simply glued down onto the background. So this is how you can create dimensional feathers to add onto your cards as focal points, plus adding in some inking and embossing techniques. I hope you enjoyed today's show. For more ideas and inspiration, please stop by my website at sarahnewman.com. If you enjoyed today's video, I invite you to subscribe to Studio SN on YouTube, and I'll keep you updated with a new video every Wednesday. Thank you for joining me on Studio SN, and I'll see you again next time.